All right, welcome back to Unleashed, everyone. Uh, we're going back to the Wii version, and we're going to go through at about day. Um, so we just go for make our way through the town stuff as usual. Um, let's just lower it a little bit. I'll just do that. I don't know why this game is so loud on the way. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I hope it's. I hope it's fine. But I'll just go through all this. I also should just do that because I don't want the Wii Remote sound to get in the way. But yeah, it's been a little bit. Um, the last the last session was like a few months ago, um, and uh, the pretty much the own the one and only reason for that. Besides a lot like some personal stuff going on going on right now is the fact that Kingdom Hearts 3 data fights were a complete pain in the ass to edit. <laughs> I like just trying to go through all of that and uh, edit all the deaths and whatnot. That took freaking forever and I didn't want to start recording more content before that was all done. And that took like a month or two. So yeah, I wanted to get that uh, like finished so I didn't have to worry about it anymore, and then go back into finishing this game. So yeah, we're back, and thankfully I, I well I shouldn't have any more stop gaps or like periods of time where there's just no unleashed uh, parts going up or whatever. We should be having a straight shot to the to the end at this point, and we're getting close to the end. There's not much left of this game. On either version, this is going to be Adabat, then Eggman Land, and then like post content, I guess. I I might do some of the side content before Eggman Land, but most of the of that stuff will be done after Eggman Land because I think it just makes more sense that way. So yeah. Either way, though, this is Adabat Day. This is the final um, main day stage for the game. Okay. <laughs> Need to remember what the buttons are for the classic controller. Um, I should I should clarify a bit with with that and say like it's mainly the last main day stage for the H HD version because Eggman Land is structured a lot differently here, where it's like one full day stage and then a bunch of night stages. So technically, there's there is one more major day stage after this. Um, but for the HD version, this is the last one. But, yeah, it's a pretty good stage, there's a lot of different pathways here, and uh, it has has a lot of uh, stuff going on, and this little guy making things a little bit, a little bit difficult, not too bad though. And the S rank timing is a little bit tight, it's not crazy strict or anything like that, but it does require you to not dilly dally that much I, I I wouldn't say it's as hard as a Shamar day but it's it's definitely no slouch you do need to be on your a game and nice things with the cannons here yeah I, I do like this stage a fair bit um, I think it's a fairly well crafted day stage however though I feel like it's a bit too short like it, it's just over two minutes long and it's funnily enough I think one of the shorter day stages in the game and I feel like I, I feel like it should be a, a lot longer than that like the there's just not enough meat to it I guess like it go it, it goes by way too quickly and I feel like there's not enough stuff for it to be an end game level um, so I feel like I feel like they should have put a lot more into this one, which is, it's a complete opposite with the HD version, like, the HD version is, like, a lot longer and has a lot of uh, meat to it, so, yeah, that stage I, I do honestly think is one of, on the HD version, Jungle Joy Day is actually one of my favourites in the game, but as far the, as the Wii version goes, it's perfectly sur surfaceable, like, I, I like this stage fine enough, but 
I feel like it could have been a lot longer than it is. I feel like it just goes by way too quickly and there's not enough here, I guess. Um, it is what it is, though. The Thankfully, the Eggman Land stage here is is really good, but we'll get to that when we, when we get to it. So yeah, just doing a bunch of missions. You know the you know the drill by this point. So I guess it evens out a little bit in that sense. Like days at about day, I pref like the I think the HD version is far superior, and the at about night I think is far superior on the uh, on the Wii. So I guess I guess like you win some, you lose some. <laughs> No, again, not to say that any like this stage or at about night on the HD version is uh, bad by any means, like, but the, these stage, both of these stages are completely, completely fine for what they are. It's just, you know, I prefer one over the other. <laughs> it's as simple as that, really. I okay, I think this only does about half the stage. It should also be worth noting that if you're playing this with the uh, with the Wii Remote and Nunchuck, I love doing that by the way. That's such a sick dodge. Um, you, if you play with the Wii Remote and Nunchuck, you can't actually do a like a jump dash without like boosting, because the the sh shake in the Wii Remote is your home and attack, and it's also your boost. Whereas in with other controllers. Home and attack is the is the jump button like it should be, and boost is a separate button entirely. So you can still do a jump dash when you have boost. So that's another reason why classic and GameCube GameCube controller is superior. <laughs> Unless you really want to have want to waggle your control stick around or waggle your massive Wii remote stick around, I guess. Um, Yeah, I think I alluded to this as well earlier. It's that good. This playthrough has been going on for a ludicrous amount of time. Like, I keep forgetting what I what I've said. But I don't have enough. All right, we're good. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> But yeah, we're done with, done with that now. <laughs> okay, we just do that. And I think we... Yeah, we just have to go to the boss. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, Go here, and then yeah, we still don't have any of these active. Yeah, I'm gonna check all these after we finish uh, the the main game. I think it makes. I think that just makes the most sense. So I just open that. And I will cut to the day at about day stages on the HD version. So I'll be back in a sec. Alright, we're back. Just boost over here. And we get to start the stage. Because we already saw the entrance to this in the, at the end of the last session. And now we're finally getting to play this. So I remember what, what I was uh, going to say at the end of the la at the end of the Wii. Um, section of this. Um, what I was going to say is, I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it before, but I prefer how they handled like the extra missions in the Wii version, um, because you have the get extra, get the, get enough rings, get um, through the level in a timer and all that stuff, and I prefer because it, I prefer how the, the Wii version does it because they don't make you have to play the they don't make it so you have to play the whole stage again. Um, and for stuff like the time trials, you 
sometimes get to play wholly different parts of, of the level, um, and sometimes like just new level design in general. And the main thing is that you th they don't make you have to play the whole stage again. That that's the main thing. And the HD version of the hot dog missions, you have to always go through the whole stage, and I. I don't like that. I feel like it just gets really redundant, and when you have to do like, if you want to get like all the hot dog missions done, that's a minimum requirement of playing like the day, st the main like Act One day stage for every every area of the game, a minimum of ten times. Like that counts the original run of the stage, and then there's there's a time attack which. The, it's level 1, level 2, level 3 of that, and then there's a ring attack that also has 3 levels, and then there's the, the enemy attack where you have to get, like, kill eno enough enemies. And it, would, it wouldn't be so bad if, like, if you got enough rings, the stage would just immediately end, or if you got enough enemies killed, like, the stage would just end. No, like, you, you had to get to that amount, but you still had to get to the goal ring. And I feel like I feel like the Wii version just handles that better, where it's just, you get the amount, and then you're done. And most of the time, there are some exceptions, one big one that I'll get to very soon, but most of the time in the Wii version, you don't have to play the whole stage to do for those missions, and I like that a lot. Either way though, enough of that, this is the HD version of Jungle Joyride Day. And this is probably the hardest day, hardest uh, main day stage in this version. Because again, Eggman Land is not really a main, like a regular stage. It's not a, it's it's a hybrid stage for both day, day and night. So that that's why I consider this like the main, the, like the last main day stage. Um, so yeah, as as far as that goes, this is definitely no cakewalk. They they expect you to home like they, they expect you to have all your skills mastered you're going to be going like running on water a lot and if you bonk into anything too much you're just going to drown and die there's a lot of hidden pathways that tend to be pretty difficult like in the sense that like since it's so easy to die in a lot of these areas you're kind of risking it by just going off into, oh my god, <laughs> like that, just going off into unfamiliar territory, but it is fun to just like find what's, what's out there, especially when you have like this massive vast ocean that's just begging to be explored, but you do have to be careful, and this, unlike the Wii version as well, it's also really long, like the, the Wii version again was only two and a half, two, like two minutes and something seconds. Really short stage, especially for this late in the game. Whereas this one is a lot longer. It takes up to five, six minutes, depending on how good you are. And it tests, again, it tests all your skills up to this point. Your reaction time needs to be spot on. And there's secrets like that. Can I? Okay, there's nothing there. Um, there's platforming with the springs. You need to be careful you don't hit the spike part of that. And then a little bit slower platforming here. You get to the top route and get all the stuff. Like there's there's a lot going on in this in this level, and there's a lot of different paths you can take. Especially like straight from the beginning, really. Like there's so many paths that you can go to with the quick step section, and it's also a more intense version of what you saw in like rooftop run day where like you just you were just going through those like little alleyways going like doing a quick step and there, there wasn't really any form of danger there except just the 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 um the fact that if you mess up you you'll slow down and run into a wall or what, what have you whereas if you mess up in that section you're most likely going to fall into the into the ocean and die so yeah, the stakes are quite a lot higher now. You have to be on your toes pretty much constantly, especially when if you want to get a good rank here. And mix that with the 
pretty long length. This is definitely one of the hardest, if not the hardest, like, regular day stage in the game. It's, the, it's not the hardest day stage, because if you're going to count, like, the DLC stages, then... Oh boy! <laughs> like, you haven't seen anything yet, but... In terms of... Just the Act 1s, like, I definitely say this is one of, if not the hardest in the game. And I, I think, cons considering that this is the... This is the last stretch. I think it's warranted. Like at this point, I think it makes sense for this to be a really difficult stage that tests really tests your um, your skill. And uh, I wouldn't have it any other way. But this is what I think the Wii version. Oh god! <laughs> I never actually, I've never actually messed up part before. That was bad. Um, yeah, it, it makes sense for this to be like really difficult and. The Wii version should have followed suit. I, I don't think it should be necessarily as long as this. I, I, I don't think a final stage necessar necessarily needs to be this long. If you can, if you can still make it cha like challenging for a shorter runtime for a stage. I think it can still work, but um, I think the Wii version stage is just a little, a little bit too short and easy. Well, maybe not easy. It, the, I, I, I don't know if I'd say easy necessarily, but it definitely feels too easy for a final, like one of the final stages, I guess. So yeah, the, that's just yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a very good stage. The. I don't know uh, where I'd rank the this music track compared to like the rest of the game, but Jungle Joy Day is definitely definitely a good piece of music. I wouldn't say it's as good as the I wouldn't say it's as good as the night theme, but it it, it ain't half bad. Yeah, let's see end of that. Oh yeah, also I did I upgraded combat to max, so I don't have to worry about getting new moves anymore and. Um, yeah, all that good stuff. So yeah, now we just get get to do. I think, I think there are three extra acts that we need to do. And now we have to do the boss of the world. Okay, so <laughs> I like how they have to put that line of rings there just so you can boost back. It's pretty funny. Right, how do I? Oh right, I can wall jump. I'm stupid. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't know I could do that. Okay. Okay, so th this is Act Two. Is the is Act Four in the DLC? I could have sworn there was Act f uh, Four here as well. Hmm. Apparently, I I could be wrong. Yeah, this is another loop around the stage like three times, and it gets progressively more difficult. And uh, this is this is a pretty fun one. A lot of uh, again quick reaction times. A lot of fail with uh, your boosting. And yeah, I, I pretty everything I said about these types of stages I've made. I I, I can't really add to like I I said all I needed to. Like I, I like how the Make you go through a, like a, a familiar area over and over again, and it gets more, more and more deadly, and it keeps you on your t on your toes. And I think it's, and I, I f believe I said this as well. It's a good use of using level assets as much as you can. Like, it's you don't like, like you can't spare like assets to make like a like an. The, a stay a, a longest longer stage that has more unique um what am I trying to say like you, I'm bad at wording things I'm sorry but like in, instead of like making a one long stre long stretch for a full level um, they basically use a smaller what, like one smaller level and then like loop it a few times and I think th the fact that they they changed the level design up enough I think makes it work and I 
I like the idea of just going through the same area, but it gets like progressively more challenging. But I think that's cool. Um, I, I don't know. I think it, I think it works, especially since it's a extra stage as well. Like it feels like a special challenge kind of thing. Like if this was like how a regular stage in the game was like la was laid out, I'd have more of a problem with it. But I think it work. I think these stages work as like a extra stage challenge, if that makes any sense. Yeah, but everything, anything else I can say about these levels is that, like, like, I, I, <laughs> it's just nothing at this point. Like, I, I, again, I said all I really need to, so, yeah, I, I, I like this. It's good stuff. And the fact that they, they don't take very long as well is also nice. I, that shouldn't be an S, but okay, I'll take it. <laughs> and now we have Act 3, which I think is just a, a uh, longer version of the quick step sec section from the main stage. And uh, I guess that'll, that'll be it. Yeah, I just... Oh, okay. Oh, damn it. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's totally fine. Ugh. Okay. Okay, I, I don't remember the level design enough in this in this stage. I'm good this way this time. Okay. At least I got the tape. Yeah, a good player on this stage will, will, like, not stop boosting throughout the whole level. <laughs> okay, that, that guy need, need to slide under, I, I assume. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's basically a slightly extended version of the part of the, uh, the start of the main stage. It's nothing too crazy there, but it, it it's a nice test of ref reflexes. And I assume that'll be it. That that <laughs> I I I thought that was a, a fourth stage, but I, I guess not. It's not like hidden somewhere, is it? Oh, okay. I like how you can lose lives in, in the hub worlds. That's funny. Yeah, I don't know. I, 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 yeah, I, assume, I, I assume that's it because I can't find any others. So... It's time to fight the boss. Alright, now we're going to the boss of Adabat, and this is a really cool boss. Basically what this is, is a mix between the Egg Beetle and the Egg Devil Ray, and I, I kind of like that in the sense that um, Eggman, like, saw the strengths and weaknesses of both machines and made, like, a superior version of it and just mixed them together, so you have, like, the laser stuff from the Egg Devil Ray. He had the general design that's more, it has like more red going on from the Egg Beetle and, the, and just all that stuff. 
And then you also have like its own mechanics with like just running, like running, running on the wall here and just avoiding the obstacles and whatnot. And then you have this part, which is a mix of both fights in the sense that he opens up his claw so you can attack him, and he sends out the bullets and lasers from the Egg Devil Ray. So yeah, this is a really cool fight. Um, it again, yeah, it mixes both bosses, both day bosses together in a very satisfying like final, like final day boss. It's quite a bit more intense in the, in, in the HD version though. It, I've noticed it's kind of a trend with the bosses in, in this game. Like the Wii version, while the bosses are pretty good for the most part, um, the HD version is just a lot more intense and there's more stuff going on. And therefore, in my opinion, I think they're a lot better. And they're just they're, there's just more stuff. Um, go, there's just more stuff going on. There's more variations to the attacks. And it's generally just more difficult. And I find that more fun. These bosses on the Wii version are pretty good, but they're also quite a bit easy by comparison, which I think I, I think is fine for what it is. Again, I think this as a first Sonic game, I I think this would be a pretty comfortable start starting point. It's not very demanding, it's not too hard, but it's not too easy. Um, and it's a in terms of getting through the getting through the main game, it's a, a pretty good length, it's not too long, it's not too short, and you have a bunch of side content if you care enough to delve into that. And we're back. So you get a more snazzy intro there. And like with the Egg Devil Ray, Eggman's not actually piloting this thing, it's just a bunch of random robots. Which, you know, I think that's kind of funny. And here we go up here. I think you can jump, but you just, I think you just fall and die. Yeah, so don't jump! <laughs> um, why can't I just restart? Okay. I don't know why you can't just restart this. It's weird. Uh, whatever. Let's just do this. Start this again. So yeah, in the Wii version, um, you just flat out can't jump on the on the wall. Whereas in this in this one you can, but you'll just kill yourself. So I don't know why they let you. So it's kind of weird. Oh well. So yeah, on on the in the HD version, there's more. Like I said, there's more variety in the attacks. There's different patterns. Patterns! Um, so, here yeah, you this. You bonk it. So, yeah, the, I don't know if I mentioned this in the Devil Ray fight, but the, the, the day bosses in this version tend to have, like, three sets of attacks. Like, it'll say, like, switching to attack level two, attack level three, and all that. And that basically just means you're going to a different attack pattern, a different phase. So again, there's more variety in the attacks, and I like I like that. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like look, what what not Orbot just said there. So yeah, to watch out for new attacks, and yeah, I, I like that. It gives it gives the boss a lot of uh, things to work with, and the player more things to look out for. It doesn't. It makes it so the boss doesn't like stay stale or anything like that, and it, you know, keeps the flow going. It just again, it, I, I've the this just, I I like these bosses a lot more than the Wii version because it's just more stuff to avoid. It's hard. It's a lot harder, and just more fun to fight these guys. Oh god. Okay. I don't know if this will do it, but it will be damn close. Yeah, Egg Lancer is a really good boss. I like it a fair bit. 
I'm not sure if I like it as much as the Egg Devil Ray personally, but it's definitely definitely a good fight. Definitely worthy as the final um, day boss, I think. Like just mixing the two previous fights together as like a nice little mishmash, and it tests. It, te it it's a good test of your skills. I like it. And I died. Cool. I guess we have to do that again! <laughs> oh, that sucks. There we go. Okay, cool. <laughs> Is that still in us? Nice. Okay, cool. Alright. Just lower this a little bit. So it's more in line with, with the others. And uh, finally get to restore this continent. And there's going to be a lot, a lot of cutscenes here that kind of speak for themsel themselves. And I don't really want to ruin the mood. So I think I'll just let these play out. So enjoy. What's wrong, buddy? Huh? Oh, right. I'm just... scared. Scared? It's just another old temple. It doesn't look like there's anyone around, either. That's... that's not what I mean. That's not... never mind. I'm fine. Let's go. Sonic, I remember now, all of it. My... my real name is Light Gaia. I draw power from the day and light, and guide the planet to its rebirth. My job was to protect the planet from Dark Gaia. But Eggman broke the world apart himself, and Dark Gaia and I were awakened before we should have been. That's why Dark Gaia broke apart, and I didn't know who I was. I didn't remember what I was supposed to do. 
All because this isn't the proper time of awakening. Time of awakening? Dark Gaia grows over millions of years, then rises to destroy the world. And I put it all back together. We've been doing this over and over, again and again, since the very beginning of time. So you were asleep all this time? For millions of years? Yes, for ages and ages. I bet it's thanks to you. Hmm? Even at night when I'm like this, I'm still myself, not like all the other people we've seen. You must have been protecting me this whole time. Mm-mm. I haven't done anything, Sonic. You're the reason you haven't changed at all. You're too strong to lose yourself. I'm the reason? Yeah. You never doubt yourself, no matter what. You never give in to the night or the darkness inside your heart. I think it's because I knew that about you. That's why I wanted you to help me. It's been so fun getting to see the world. I've lived here since the planet began, but I didn't know a thing about it. That it's so pretty, or that food tastes so good, or that people are so nice. I'm so glad I got the chance to discover all that with you, and I'm so glad that you helped me find my memory. Sonic, I will never, ever forget you. Thank you, Sonic. Goodbye, friend. Hey! Whoa! What? Where do you think you're off to all by yourself? What? But my memory is back now, and... Well, from here on out, it's my responsibility, so, um... I mean, there's no reason for you to come along, so I should just... Do I need a reason to want to help out a friend? Thanks, Sonic. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I, I love that so much, dude. Oh... <laughs> Everything about that cutscene is just perfect. I love the emotion. Uh, you finally get to know uh, who Chip actually is. And I just love how it, it just shows like a more like a gentle, a more gentle and uh, caring side of Sonic. Um, like he, he can like he can be a bit of a <laughs> a um, like a what should we call it? He can come off as a dick sometimes, but that's not all he is. Like he does have like a more like caring side and I I like I dude that cussing is just so good. Like they used to be, used to be like so many different layers to these characters. Um it, they weren't they weren't always just so one note like they are in recent games. I just, I missed her. I, I swear, please, Frontiers, be good. <laughs> please. That's all I'll say on that. Ian Flynn is writing, writing for Frontiers. So I, I do have high hopes. But God, I've been, so, I've been burnt so many times with these recent game stories that, oh God. <laughs> I miss, I, I, I it, it's no, it's no, like, new statement or anything like that, but I, I really miss when Sonic stories were more, like, heartfelt and genuine. It feels like the, like, there was actual emotion being put into these, and into these cutscenes, and it wasn't just ha-ha funny jokes every two seconds. But... Yeah, I, I, the, such a good cutscene, dude. <laughs> There's probably a bunch of uh, videos you can probably find of just analyzing it and all that stuff. And just that one line, like, do I need a reason to want to help out a friend? That just, that's what Sonic's character should be. Like, yeah, he can be a bit of a, uh, like, a cocky um, jerk sometimes. Like, he can, like, 
show off and like all that stuff, but that's not all he is. Like he still cares about his friends and uh, the world and whatnot. And you know, he he doesn't do this because he gets like like special gain from it from it or anything like that. It's it's just something he just likes to help people and uh, like he, he likes just help out his friends and whatnot. Um, like he doesn't need a he doesn't need like a outside benefit for to, for doing that and I just that casting I <laughs> I'm repeating myself I know but like that casting is just so well put together I, I love it so much it perfectly encaps encapsulates um, both Sonic's and Chip's characters and. It's one of my favorite cutscenes, not only in in just this game, but just the whole the whole franchise. It's it's just a nice feel good scene that just like this is the you're you're getting to the end game, so it's just nice to have that final like peaceful moment of like just Sonic and Chip kind of just taking it taking it all in like the adventure so far and like all the like the revelations and whatnot and. Mm, so good. <laughs> okay, I I'm going in the into the professor professor's, professor's lab real quick because I think there's a special cutscene that we haven't actually seen yet. So I go here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've seen these two. This is the final special CG cutscene you can unlock. I don't think we've seen this yet. In there. All right, and that's it. Yeah, just three. I, I like those. Just three nice little extras you can you can unlock. Now, just I probably should have done this before going in, but I do want to talk to Amy one last time. This is the last uh, conversation in the game, uh, pretty much. Because yeah, we're going up to Eggman Land now. And because th this ties into Black Knight, so... Hooray! <laughs> cool stuff. So yeah, I I've already replayed Black Knight. I don't remember anything I said in that playthrough, but... Um, the... The post credit scene and that just... Like, shows, like... Um, Sonic was supposed to go, go on a date with Amy, but... The whole events of Black Knight happened, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sonic. So I guess Black Knight supposedly happens immediate. well, maybe not immediately, but fairly soon after this game. So I guess, I guess it's that. There's nothing to hand over, so let's just leave. And, um, we should see Tails just appear right behind us. Yep, hello. Hello. So, there's a tornado stage that we're going to have to play. And this, in the Wii version, you, you just go straight to Egg Eggman Land. So I'm just going to play this now and um, get f and all that stuff. 